Here's our uh, partially completed uh, deoxyribose molecule. We still have this tip of the pentagon to do, and it's going to look like this. We're going to have this structure and then this structure sticking out of it perpendicularly. So uh, we'll need both of these uh, 2D structures here that we've been working with before. Move it down here in the workspace. And um, we're, we'll have to explode this group to get in and tinker with it. We'll separate that over here. Now, um, we're going to have to stick in an extra bond, so let's go grab an extra bond here. And attach that. getting close because we don't have the flag poles. There, that takes care of that. Now we want to attach this here, bring this back. Um, the angle right here is 180 degrees and that's not what we want. We want 120 degrees. So let's um, go four tick marks. Each tick mark on that compass is 15 degrees and now we bring it in and that gives us 120 degrees, so once again, getting close to do this. Then pull out again. And now we need to uh, stick this here. We're going to stick this thing here. So how do we do that? See, first of all, we want to set it up right. Then let's turn it around. Oops. Got a little excited there or something. All right. Now, um, this would be at just the right angle if this was still if this was still 180 degrees. But since we brought this in 60 degrees so that we could make this 120 degrees since we move this by 60 degrees we need to move this half as much because it's the, at the halfway point so we'll twist this by 30 degrees that takes care of that now what else do we need to do okay we need to uh, tilt this by 30 degrees and that looks to be what we need to do um, over here we see that this is sticking out like that versus that this in close. Get much, 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 much closer. See where we're heading here. Aha. Looks like a regular little starburst there. It's at times like these that you really appreciate the, um, the group function. Because wouldn't it be a hassle to move all of that if we couldn't make it into one big group. Okie doke. Now what do we do? Well, we have to um, rotate it in three dimensions. That takes care of one dimension. That takes care of half of another dimension. This, this is now, this structure is now parallel with this bond. So an intermediate step to getting to where we want to go is to make it parallel with this bond. So we have to twist it by 72 degrees. Taking 72. Okay, now, now this is parallel with that. But that's not quite what we want. We want it to be sticking out this way. So we have to twist it 54 degrees. which is our magic number from the um, adenine video. Did I mention that? Yeah, I think I did. Okie doke. So we bring this up like so. And then what? Well, that isn't right. We want this one up here. Okay, then we have one more dimension to uh, tilt this in. And that's so that um, the, pl 
plane will bisect the angle here. The angle between these two bonds has to be bisected by this pentagon ring to make everything nice and uh, symmetric. So we'll uh, tilt this by 30 degrees, which is two tick marks on the compass. And now everything should just be hunky-dory. Zoom in. Zoom in really, really close. And zoom out again. See what it looks like in regular view. Aha! There is our completed deoxyribose molecule. And what does it look like? Well, uh, it looks like a three-tailed dog with uh, one leg longer than the rest. And apparently one of its uh, grandparents was an anteater. And that's deoxyribose in SketchUp.